Hey everybody, this is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super Channel. And today, we're going to see what the Ether Foundation is all about. Last episode, go check it out. We took on the Grand Trial and we got into a little mischief. But today, we're going to go meet up. Well, how does his Grand Trial? We're going to meet up with the Ether Foundation and see what they wanted to show me. So if you know, if you like this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to me already. And just come check me out. So we're meeting them over here at the Hano's Grand Resort. Oh, this looks nice. This is riding in with my... This is riding in with my Tauros. This looks nice. So you come at last. Oh, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. They call me Faba. I told you before, I will show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Ether's Paradise. Let me tell you about Ether's Paradise. It's just as the name suggests, Ether Paradise is a, ver a veritable paradise for Pokemon that float far out in the sea of surrounding Aloha. That's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. And of course, I am a, I'm an adult who keeps his promise, so I'll show you. I will prove to you that all I've told you is the, the absolute truth with a tour of Ether Paradise. Will you come, won't you? Sure, why not? Good, good. Then you come with me to Ether Paradise. We'll amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As Kahuna, I look after the child goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Now that I've gotten... Now that I... Now, not that I got any, I've ever... Even got married. Listen, I be too. The greatest opportunity is always yourself. Your greatest highlight, the Pokemon beside you. Oh, I can't read. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I got my own business to attend to. You got to see all the amazing tech that the Ether develop. <laughs> you go see all the amazing tech that the Ether develops, and tell me about it later. Yeah, that's right. I'll see you on the next island, Ula Island. Yeah. Let's meet up at Molly Garden. Great, goodbye. Go <laughs> ahead. Yep, it's goodbye, Aki Islands. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want, huh? Let us enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say the ferry. Okay. Maybe one day I'll learn how to read. I hate reading like game text, honestly. Can you believe a big hunt of iron like E for Paradise can fold in the sea? That's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Mars Lee? Really? That's kind of trashy. That is super trashy. I knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside E for Paradise for myself. That blanket stare when you know your life is over. <laughs> JK. Woo. So I think that island over there is the next island. Aether's Paradise. So let's see. So I think I've been pretty consistent with these videos. I mean... This looks kind of weird. So let's see. Here we are, you two. This is Ether's Paradise. What are they doing? Oh, it's an elevator. Ether's Paradise is a facility created for the cons conservation of Pokemon. It's been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team works on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Ether Paradise, a jamming signal was broadcast to the facility to prevent them from functioning. Why? That's silly. Is there a wild Pokemon spots? 
Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. Who else is anyone going to know how important I am? Yes, branch manager Faba. Now, I must go speak with our president about our conversation efforts in Alka. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. I don't know about this, fam. I don't trust all this. Place looks weird. Phew. Welcome to Ether's Paradise, Marsley and Hal. My name is Wiki. Aloha. <laughs> I like how he does this with a woman. Wait, how do you know who we are? How did you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akal Island. And of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is right above us. I guess. Shall we zip right up there? It seems so... Ugh. Let's see. There's all type of, po type of Pokemans here. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taking care of the reception desk there if they need it. It's a Rockruff and a Pikachu. Marsley, you and Hal are both child goers, right? Aren't you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. How'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I can join the Island Challenges once I turn 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps. But he's way too strong. How? How lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take the journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Marsley, how? Would you two like to see the conversation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be like a tedious like search of every room. Oh, that's cool. Either's Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeball is strictly forbidden within the conversations areas. Can I not release my Pokemon either? Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They're quite terrible overhunted by the Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Tokapex. Tokapex crawl around the ocean floor on its 12 legs and leaves a trail of course a bit scattering its wakes. Why? Yeah, my grandma's always saying that nature got a cruel side. Sure, I get, I, I sure as it gives us blessings. But it, but can the Ethernet Ether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans can should try to affect that, can, I, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Ether Foundation seems awesome. But why don't you bother stepping up, setting up a branch in a place like Aloha? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what a person is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusa, uh, Lusa Mine, she should be here in the conversation area now. So this is one giant cutscene. I'm going to save right now. Because I haven't saved in a cool minute. I think it's time to add a member. Let's see. Let's see who's around here. Oh, can't even call him. Can't even call peeps up. Hello, and Grimers. This music and everything is just—it's a little off-putting. I like honestly. Ah, oh, my sweet Pokemon, I promise to keep you safe. I will protect you with my love. I gotta go. I gotta go with a little more softer tone. Actually, what tone should I go for a voice?
You must be Marsley and Howe. Welcome to Ether's Paradise, the Ether's Foundation's very own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but just call me Lucamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there's people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also some unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that's why I'm here. I will be a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. And even Pokemon from distant, distant worlds far away from the Alolan are worthy of my love. Well, Miss Lucamine, I don't know how to how you I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even much older than us. Oh sweet boy, I'm already over 40. You are what? This woman looks like she's like in her 20s. Wait, what? Oh you. The right style does wonder, you know. And how your style is a bit wanting, huh? I had to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like what you wear. I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, especially maybe Lily. She knows Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. Trust me, children would be much happier if they would only listen to the adults around them. Okay, one, how do you know Lily? And two, what the fuck is going on? Why am I just smiling? That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? Oh. Oh, what is going on? What is that? I know what it is, but still, why? Hi? Did you come from another world? That was like the rip. Is that a... Okay, I know it's an ultra beef. I just got to act surprised. Miss Lusama... Oh, Miss Lusaline, stand back. That thing's not right. Hey, it's just chilling, honestly. You poor creature. Well, I'm going to touch it. Don't burn me. Be my friend. Oh, we got to fight it. I wasn't okay with that. Question mark, question mark appeared. Oh, it is a, it's, it's raging. Put in, show this thing who we are. I have an idea. Uh, let's try a quick ball. Oh yeah, we can't catch anything. Okay. How about you take my glorious Z Venom shot? Ugh. Ready? Take it. Ka. Ready? Ready for an all-out plummel? Oh, take all of the hits. Ah, oh, man, it only... It only took so half. I forgot his defense is up. Okay. Let's... Break, break. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how to do handle this. At least Venom Shot can't do anything unless I'm poisoned. Oh, God. Maybe we can lick it? I just want to lick it. Come here. Uh. Listen to Bubble Queen. Listen to Bubble Queen. Venom Shot. Okay. Should have used um this Z move. Take it. 
Okay, we talk we knocked it out. Five hundred? That's all? That ain't nothing. Bye. Bye jellyfish person. Oh, it just warp dimensions, okay. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true, I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What, Miss Lisa Mine? What did you say? Oh, that look, that creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from a different dimension that suddenly appeared from the Ultra Wormhole. It looks like it's suffering, like it's, it's pain is, like it's pain to be in a strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I'll say it, and I will love it. I think this poke, I think Lucid Mind is crazy. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. I think that person's crazy. Wiki, these two are still in the middle of their island challenges, aren't they? Please deliver them to the next island. Oh, at once, madam. I'll go check on that none of our none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I have to start prepping the foundation for the newest and perhaps the greatest duty yet. For the, the protection of Ultra Beasts. Why? I'll see you two or I'll see you two to Ula Ula Islands then. Okay. So there it goes. We are done with the second island. Not super bad. Since so, you know there's about four islands, second islands, about halfway point of the game. So let's see, they're gonna give us anything crazy? I never thought I'd actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. We gotta tell Professor Brunette about this. She's gonna um sh the next time I see her. I don't know what if what happened should be rightly described as an an accident, but I think it's probably best to say if you um best if you do so. Anyways, I'm very glad to to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some moss some moss a lot of from how. Or are you stalking us? I think that I think I know what you mean. Mills always tastes better when you're sharing them with the ones you love. And for you, Marsley, the TM for the move psychic. Okay. How doesn't get the TM? Okay. You open up the TM pockets and put in TM29 away inside. I hope you both have a wondrous invention on your island challenges. Okay. Okay, let's get to this third island. So. Woo! Ba -ba -da -ba. Mario's still racing, you know. The Ultra Royal Home is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real, too. These cutscenes. The world is just too big. Can you shut up about the Ultra Beasts, bro? I bet we're scared of even more new things on the next island, too. Time to dig in. Okay. You're a wild man. You want some malasada? Nah, bro, I'm good. Oh, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. So let's get to the next island. Yeah. So the island all the way over there looks like it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be our last island. Okay. Developers. This is like the last island, like the last little area we're in. So how about we find a Pokemon Center, we'll go train up, and we'll meet, um, Kukli later. Hopefully they don't make it a story thing. Ula Ula Island is like a totally different place than Mele Mele and Aka, Mele Mele and Akahala. I got an idea, Marzli, let's have a battle. Sure, why not? I want my Pokemon to get a, get a deep breath of the new fresh air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. I don't want to fight. <laughs> Okay. Says so how wants to fight so badly. 
Oh, he has three Pokemon now, and now he has the Raichu. Oh, it's an Alolan Raichu! On point! I think I'm just gonna body slam it. Electro Ball? I mean, you are that much faster than me. But I am that much bigger than you. I don't think it's gonna be too hard to get him up, get him up to level 35. Vaporeon, switch Pokemon. I don't have nothing to do with Vaporeon. Might have to add a third team member. Don't know about that yet. Vaporeon uses Water Pulse. But put in, get that body slam going. And then Dextrix is going to come out. I feel like we might get really close to um, evolving um, El Tigre too. Oh, and we got the Paralyzation on Vaporeon. Let's ship her off with a guaranteed Brick Break. And that's what I'll do. Like, So this is the last time I, like, I said... Like, a couple episodes that I wasn't going to get up from this share until I got done with the second island. But, I think we did pretty good today. Going to send in Dark Trick. Dark, Dark Trick. We'll send in LT Gray. Let them fight it out like true men. Or Pokemans. And I don't know what, I like, I don't know anything else about this island. So let's fire fang it. I was gonna say I'm ready for that bloom doom though. Oh, and we got the burn. Oh, he decides to go for Bluck. But you can't do anything because you're burned, buddy. We'll do fire fang one more time. Oh, I was gonna say, like, what's about to happen? He's trying to use an item? Okay, Dark Tricks is dang it. Adios, mi amigo. Woo! Woo! But yeah. Level 33 wants to learn free swipes. Nah, keep on moves. Okay, Lady Spooks is 33. So yeah, I don't think it'd be too hard to just get them up to um 35. Maybe 36. Just so they don't have anything to worry about. Huh. <laughs> But that, that, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where? In the Mala Garden? Why do you want us to go to the garden? I guess we'll find out when we get there. You made it to Ola Island now. Big boy, that means we got a whole new island Pokedex. Okay. So, let's go to this Pokemon Center and chill. So, guys, we are at the Pokemon Center, and we're going to close out this episode. Got to meet our first Ultra Beast today. And we are sitting here chilling. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go and train for a bit. If you like this episode of Pokemons... Oh, no, I don't want to go there. The fact that it just does it automatically... I don't, I like, I hate how it, like, it asks, it just automatically goes. Save. So if you guys like this episode, save. If you guys like this episode of Pokemon Moon, the Let's Play, make sure you hit this video with a like and show me some love. So, can, can we get this? Can we get this? Can we get this? So yeah. This is Marsky Super on the Marsky Super channel, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for checking out the video. Go watch everything else I put out on the channel this week. This is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super channel, and the Mars is out.